Hey, I'm here with Boneyard Rocky Reynolds uh, with Cynix Tools. We're live at the Equip 2024. Want to show you a few things that are coming out in the spring. Most exciting launch we really have is our attachment capable line. We've been missing this for a couple years now, but we're so excited to finally have it. We have six attachments that are going to fit across our 60 volt, our 40 volt, and our four cycle gas uh, trimmers. So we will have a complete attachment line that'll be able to give you edging. It'll give you an articulating hedge trimmer. It's gonna give you a pole saw and we have an extension pole to go along with it. You see there, our cultivator. Everybody needs a little cultivator for the garden. Uh, and then obviously a brush cutter. So very excited about that. In this lineup, we also are bringing out our carbon fiber X6 attachment. This thing is a little lighter. It looks phenomenal, really pops. One of the other exciting things that we brought out is this lower handle. For you guys that love the stick edge and uh, or the, the flip edge, I mean, with your string trimmer, this right here gives you that extra handle. So it's going to be sold uh, separately, but it comes on, it will attach to any of our X6 trimmers. One thing I also noticed, you got an edge rubber. I think you said something about the, about that, but you got the edge attachment too. Yes, sir. You will now be able to stick edge, no matter if it's the 60 volt, the 40 volt, or the 4QL. So our, our four cycle gas is out in the market, very popular with the dealer world and uh, they've been asking for this. Took us a little longer than we wanted to get it out there, but we have it out there, and uh, we're really excited about this product. Yeah. And guys, if you don't know, I've been running sinks for this past year. Love them. The products are, they come in handy, and it's, you know, as a guy over in the field doing this green entry, it's right up your alley. Absolutely. The other part of our uh, new products coming out, you know, we really didn't have multi-packs of batteries for our 40 volt and 20 volt. Uh, this just makes it easier for you. We got our five amp two pack, our two and a half amp hour, and in the starter kit with just a charger and a two and a half amp hour. We also have our new uh, requested eight amp hour 20 volt oh. battery. So this is the big boy that everybody's been wanting here. The other exciting part is our PPE. So this is a, a great complementary to what we already have within the tool range. Uh, we've worked with a uh, supplier that does this. They're probably one of the largest uh, manufacturers of PPE with other brands. Uh, we've been working with them. We got what we like to say a good, better, best lineup. Um, you got just your high durable work gloves. They're coated uh, with an A4 cut level. And then my favorite is the all purpose synthetic leather glove. This one I really love around the yard. It, it breathes well. And so it doesn't, unlike these, it doesn't make your hands sweaty and everything. And then these, if you're doing, you know, your Sunday routine and you're sharpening blades and things like this, this is kind of our, we call it our performance gloves, but it's kind of the mechanics type when, you, when you're really handling those power tools and wrenches and stuff. Let's get it. What about these right here? Stuff that I didn't see. Oh, brother. These, these, these things right here, handy. I've, I've got this unit and this unit. And you see right here how he's got this iPhone charged up. So I'm going to explain about these portable power units. Yeah, so what we have here is we got our PS1200. Uh, so this is a 1200 watt uh, portable power station. Yeah, you see it's got your ACs, it's got your USBs, your USB-Cs. Um, you actually have a, a spot to where you can daisy chain these together. That's a kit that we're working on bringing out in the spring. Uh, so you could put two 1200 watt uh, power banks up together. This is a very versatile guy. It's the 600 watt. Uh, so this is great for camping, tailgating. Uh, you got a speaker or a stereo. 
uh, your phone, your iPads, all of that. And then a 300 watt. Now this one's in the back of my truck right now. I had a nine and a half hour drive here with a three year old and a five year old on their iPads the entire way. Uh, we didn't have to worry about having cords strewn from the front of the truck to the back. Uh, we set this right in between the car seats, plugged our iPads up. Uh, nine and a half hours, I still got 65% uh, left on that. Well, let me tell you, I, I got this one in the truck on the way up. I got about three hour drive. Last night, I used this plug, this plug, this one, this one. Uh, I didn't use this one. I had it running all night. Start off from 99, I think it's still like 88, something like that, maybe 89. And I uh, left everything plugged up last night, and I still got plenty of batteries. Yeah, man, most of these, depending on what you're doing, they're going to last, you know, 12 to 16 hours, uh, especially if all you're doing is electronics, small electronics. Uh, we have run a refrigerator with this one uh, in our office uh, for about 10 hours. Um, so we have run big appliances with that. You think about those big appliances, they don't always draw a lot of energy. Uh, refrigerators, when the lights off, the doors close, it doesn't draw a lot. But when you open it and the light comes on, that's when it starts drawing because then it's got to recool itself down. Uh, but it can handle that. So that's not a problem. To go along with that, we got two gas powered inverter gins. So we got our 2000 watt Big Daddy here, and then we have our 1000 watt here. These are great for camping. Uh, if you're going, if you have an RV, they're fantastic for that. Uh, if you have an emergency power loss, the 2000 watt will run any appliance in the house. Uh, obviously, they're gas, so you do not want to run them in the house. You want them outside uh, or your garage door open so you have ventilated. But the other thing is we do have safety sensors on here, so they do uh, register the, the carbon monoxide and everything. So we got safety checks in there. The rest of our stuff, this is our 4QL lineup. Man, it's uh, doing very well in the, the uh, dealer market. This is our core. Uh, we have the chainsaws, we got the blowers. You know, our hedge trimmer performs extremely well. And just like the X6 that you love so much, brother, it also articulates on the handle, so it rotates. And with that, right, when you're doing those hedges, then you got to get, if you don't have this, you got to get your hands in some funky ways and put strain on there. So our gas hedge trimmer is actually one of our leading sellers. People no love it. mixing oil. That's right, no baby. Mixed oil with these gas products from Cynics. These are four cycle products which requires you not to mix oil. So that, you can run these on straight gas. That's exactly right. And remember this year, they're attachment capable. So now with that coupler that you saw uh, a little while back there on our new products, all six of those attachments you can put on uh, these power heads and run them if you're running our gas already. We were talking a little bit about our new products earlier that's coming out in the X6 line. Well, this is what we launched at the 2023 Equip, our X6 60 volt line of products. You see a little ribbon here, we're very proud. Our 810 CFM blower. Uh, at the hardware show this year, it won uh, the best blower uh, retailer's choice. So what that was, we didn't buy it. It was the board of a panel of retailers, independent retailers, so do it best, the true values, the aces, all those. Those guys walked around, visited booths, and they elected that this was the best thing for the consumer and what they could put in their stores. And I can concur with that. I have been running this all summer, guys. You guys know I run that big boy backpack floor, that Red Max. I ran this 70% of the season this year, and that backpack floor was in the back of the truck. So I concur with that. That's great. Uh, you also love our chainsaws. You, uh, you well, played with our chainsaws, used them best in class speed the Oregon nano speed cut blade on there uh, is phenomenal it was designed specifically for battery operated chainsaws 
Uh, so it, it runs beautifully. I mean, I can't say enough. We've used it with the recent storms that have come through North Carolina. Uh, we've had a couple people volunteer with Samaritan's Purse. They ran this X6 chainsaw all day, like 10 hours, uh, two batteries. And they had guys, professional crews that are using the steel, gas chainsaws. They've all purchased these after seeing what ours did. So it's validated. You got our trimmer. Uh, you got our hedge trimmer again, articulates to help you with your hands. Our award-winning pole saw. So this Pro Tool uh, reviews gave us the best uh, pole saw recently uh, award for this. So that was really nice. And then what's coming out in the spring, you got our backpack blower, brother. 950 CFM, brushless, uh, very ergonomic. We're really focusing on the support of this because with batteries, it's still going to be a little heavy, uh, even compared to some of the gas stuff. But uh, we're really focusing on the ergonomics, so the padding uh, on the straps, the back plate and everything. So when this hits market in the spring, it's going to be right. And let me tell you guys something. You said something about a little heavy. Now, I put this thing on my back yesterday, and to me, it's no different than having a one of those big backpack blowers filled up with gas. I didn't notice the difference. It felt it felt good with the pads, the pads on it. It just it's it's comfortable. When you're out here working every day, you don't want to get discomfort out there in humidity already, hot weather. Then you get in the winter time, you got these leaves, man, and the, the weather change again. This thing, it doesn't seem, it seems like it's heavy from what he's saying. I guess if he doesn't run gas, I run gas, and guys, I don't know the, notice too much of a difference myself. I would actually run this. If it blows anything like this blows right here at this award winner, I would run this. So we're going to see what this thing does. Yeah, we're definitely going to get it in your hands as soon as we get that puppy in. So this is new. This is our 40 volt lineup. So it works off of two 20 volt batteries uh, that we use in our 20 volt line. Uh, we have one chainsaw, 14 inch, just like the bigger brother over here. It's an Oregon bar and chain. It's toolless chains, right? So you don't have to get out all those tools to change and tighten your, your chain up and everything. Two batteries, it's got the lube, uh, where you put your bar and chain lube in there. And then it's also got your uh, uh, chain brake as well. So standard chainsaw, but it works phenomenal. You'll see it in the outside booth later when you go there. Hedge trimmer. You got a 750 CFM blower. Uh, so little brother of the 810. Uh, it'll actually be a, a 7, 750, really good. Design's basically the same, just doesn't get the same power off of 40 that it does 60. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know if you're this thirsty right or here. not, yeah, I am but uh, check check Let that me... out. Is that cold? Ice cold. Yeah, Ice so cold. is there any sweat on that? I no mean, sweat on it. Yeah, so Ice cold, guys. when you're out in the field, right, you don't need to have all that drippage and the ice water running down because then you get a little slippery and stuff. So this is our 20-volt uh, cooler slash warmer. It can be, um, you can have it up to 180 degrees. So if you're like me and you smoke meats, I could put a brisket in there and let it rest uh, for four, six, eight hours. Just put it in there on 150 or whatever and let it be warm. Or you can put 40 cans of, uh, of pop in here. Uh, so, uh, whatever you need. Some of you guys that cheat and walkie best and stuff. <laughs> 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 and, and it'll run uh, on this. We've had it run eight to ten hours uh, on two batteries. So if you think about a normal work day, work day. It'll, get that it'll get you through there with just the two batteries to come with. And guys, I mean, I know ice doesn't seem like much, but you do two bucks a day on ice. 30 days, 60 bucks, doesn't seem like much, but that's a phone bill that you're saving. Absolutely. So, and you can see the display here. 
We've had this thing uh, plugged up all morning, uh, running here since we got here at 7.30. It's dropped to one battery level, uh, and we're keeping it cold. It's got LED lights, so you can change these colors uh, if you want. Obviously, we're going to stick with orange or blue uh, because that's Cynics for you. It's got a USB plug uh, in here and a Type C. So there's the wow. Type C, and then there's the USB. So again, if you have phones, cameras, things you need to charge on the go, you can do that there. This is like almost a tailgater screen. Absolutely. Handle, wheels, so you don't have to carry it. You can roll it around. It's it's perfect, man. And uh, it's in now. So we're good to go. Our 40 volt snow, uh, this snow shovel last year just absolutely rocked. It was our you, first I product. I didn't get to use it last year, but I'm ready to whip this thing out this year. I've got a couple guys that carry the Cynics products. I've seen them use this in action. Yep. And guys, I was amazed. When I seen the way that this was removing snow off of sidewalks and driveways, if you're just doing residential snow removal, get these batteries right here. Got, got you some extra batteries to go with it. Guys, you can do residential snow removal with this. It has enough power. Yes. It doesn't look like it. I know you guys doubt you this battery. But guys, just start watching the Cynix hashtags and look up the snow removal, and you'll see these things in action. They work. Absolutely. We have a new 20 volt trimmer coming out this year. So last year um, we have smaller residential type uh, trimmers. This year we're bringing out a longer one based off of our X6 line. Uh, and so this one's going to be uh, longer, still straight shaft. It's going to perform stronger than the smaller brothers that you'll see here next to it. Uh, we think this will actually displace uh, the need for a lot of people, honestly, to step up to a 60 volt, that right now their only option is a 60, but this will provide the power, provide the length and performance uh, that some people just don't need the 60. 60 is not for everybody. It ain't for everybody. And yeah. I'll tell you guys, you're out here with screen trimmers. Me, I keep one string trimmer for long, thick grass. I keep one for my regular maintenance. Yeah. So you don't always need that power on a trimmer. And what we're in now, you really want to get away from the overgrown anyway. Absolutely. So, perfect tool. So we talked about the little guys, right? These are great for, you know, smaller yards, getting uh, elderly. Uh, they can maneuver these very easily. They're light. My wife actually loves this one. Uh, she uses it if I can't get to it. Uh, get to the yard. That's the trimmer she uses uh, there. Hedge trimmer, just your basic 20 volt. Our mini saw, brother. I know you love this puppy. Love it. Uh, love it. it works phenomenal. I use it on my deer property, uh, and I've been able to stop uh, carrying. I love this tool right here. Yeah. I'm talking about this, this small. You can throw it in. I mean, it doesn't even take any room out the truck. No. Yeah. And a lot of times, guys, we're not cutting down big trees. Sometimes you want to just knock those limbs back. You're on the zero turn. You got those limbs that smack you in the face. Get on the property, man. You can reach up and get those limbs down with no problem. And I'm speaking from experience with it. So. Yeah, so that guy's been great since it's come in. Uh, we are launching pruners uh, in the spring uh, to go along with it. You got a small job site blower. So this is one of my favorites as well of ours. Uh, I do some woodworking on the side. And uh, so when I'm doing some routing and different drilling, I'll get the sawdust and I can't see my words or my letters. I don't need a big blower. I get tired of scraping it off. I can just put this thing on the number one setting and just squeeze the trigger. It's real low focused. It's got a rubber tip so it's flexible and I can point it to where I need and it doesn't make a mess. The other thing I use this for, when I detail my truck, I'll, I'll uh, dry the truck. I'll get it started with that because, right, that's, that's speed one. 
That's speed two, and then that's speed three. So you put that on your truck, and uh, with the rubber, you don't have to worry about scratching or anything if you get too close, but you can get that water to go off, and then you come back with your towel, and it's so much less drenched, and you're not wringing it out at the end of the day when you use this. So it works phenomenal. I'm going to tell you, I can see myself using this sharpening blades, guys. You'll get a lot of those metal, that metal sharpening yeah. stuff that'll be all over the floor, all inside your garage. So I can, yeah, this definitely I can see you for. Other cool things coming out. We're in the lifestyle, right, with the cooler. We're also bringing out some fans. So we got some pretty cool fans here. Um, this one lights up, as you see. So when you're doing your podcast, right, you got to have that perfect lighting. You know, this could light up and help you out there. And keep you cool. That's right. So you can turn it off, and then you can adjust the speed there. Again, USB-C and USB. Uh, ports there to charge your phones, your iPads, whatever you need. You adjust the, the fan speed, adjust the lights, and then it also rotates. So you can put that wherever you want. It's little brother, clamp on fan. So again, this one is great for like golf carts, side by sides. Uh, hell, probably a ZTR, brother, uh, or a mower. I'm sure you could find a spot to put that I, thing I, on I there and uh, stay cool while you're there. But us turn it on. It's got low and high. And then, again, it rotates. It also rotates uh, 360 that way. So you can have multiple angles. You can set it up flat or... If you're putting it on something, you just clamp it right on there, man. And you're good to go. So, uh, we got our 20 volt. Again, this is our lighter weight stuff. Uh, you got the grass shear and the hedge trimmer for the little small, like, I think about monkey grass. Yeah. I think yeah. about some of those ornamental trees uh, and stuff that you don't yeah, want to use one of those big ones. What I usually do is take, I could take the monkey grass and tie it. Yeah. Just take one of these and just chop it chop off. Chop it off. You got your monkey grass. Chop Absolutely. Go. This guy right here has been oh, big that's, for us. No, that's, <laughs> this right here, guys, between this and that five inch right there, these are my babies. Yeah. I went out this one day and I had two big chainsaws and they didn't even get used. I was getting it done with this right here, guys, with no problems. I, and, if you get on my channel, I'll have to get the video. I'll leave a link, guys, but I got a channel, and you'll see the actual thickness of the stuff I'm cutting. It's cutting it like butter. Yep. Right through it, no problem. And it's it, the power of the battery the Cynix has, it'll, it'll surprise you guys, man. It, I think it'll really get a lot of you guys who use gas to cross over once you see how these chainsaws work. And like you say, we've gone through a terrible time right now with these hurricanes. And these guys are doing cleanups with six chainsaws and our batteries using two batteries getting through 10 hour days. Come on, it's no better. All right, so this one is yeah. really cool. It's got yeah. the cool factor going. It is our hybrid coffee maker. So is this out yet? So this is officially out oh, now. Man. Uh, we do have inventory. Look out for Q4, it's gonna be a great time. So you got your water reservoir. Um, you put about 8 to 10 ounces of, of uh, water in there, close it up, push this in. This is Accepts K-Cups. So it's the only one on the market right now like this that accepts K-Cups. So if you don't have a K-Cup, you put your filter in, put your grounds in, close it up, brew your coffee. It'll take about 8 minutes to brew an 8 ounce cup of coffee. It's going to be scorching hot, so I recommend you let it sit for about eight more minutes before you try to drink it. Uh, you wow. get the cup with it. Um, it is AC as well as DC. So you can have wow. it plugged in, you can run it off the batteries. Off of one uh, five amp hour battery, you will be able to get three cups of coffee. So guys, 
I can see this right here not even making it to the kitchen. Staying in the garage. As soon as I'm ready to load up in the morning, put my water in, got my coffee brewing. The same time I'm loading up on the trailer, time the trailer's loaded up, I got my cup of coffee and I'm ready to get started for the day. Absolutely. Wow. That's amazing right there. I think this might be my new favorite product right here. Yeah, we're, we're really excited. My wife uses it actually when I travel. Um, she uh, She's spoiled. She gets her coffee brought to her every morning before I leave for work. And so if I'm not home for an extended period of time versus walking downstairs, she uh, brings this upstairs and actually does her coffee uh, that way so she doesn't have to get all the kids and everything downstairs.